January 17, 1936. And a 21-year-old Joe Lewis, the overnight sensation of the heavyweight division, meets highly regarded Charles Retzlaff in a scheduled 10-round bout in Chicago, Illinois. At this point in his career, Lewis, to the right of your screen, has been a professional for a little more than a year. But so far, he's undefeated and has knocked out 22 of his 26 opponents, including ex-champions Prima Canera and Max Beer. Because of this amazing record, the sporting press has nicknamed Lewis the Brown Bomber. As the fighters come out for round one, they both seem content to feel each other out. Watch as Lewis misses a left hook and Retzlaff comes back with a one-two. Retzlaff, who has been warned about Lewis's extremely fast hand, still seems completely willing to trade punches. Coming into this fight, he too had a fine record and was considered a fighter to watch. Retzloff lunges in. Lewis will meet him with a lightning left hook that grabs him to the canvas. Retzloff tries to rise, but stumbles back gradually before courageously getting to his feet. Lewis, who already had a reputation for never letting his man get away, moves in to finish it. He's got Retzloff against the ropes. Five devastating punches, and Retzloff can no longer hold himself up. He goes down again. Retzloff tries to rise, but he's unable to regain his feet, and the referee signals that it's all over. Lewis rushes over to help the fallen fighter to his corner. Joe Lewis wins a smashing one-round victory and takes another giant step for the heavyweight title. And you saw it on Knockout.